combo, so it's not like that's a bad thing. It's just it's very predictable, so hammers can know that that's where they're going to go with this pick and can already start formulating a plan to try and deal with it. I mean, hammers are comfortable there regardless, right? Because they can Jewel either perform... out. Okay, instant that jewel four heroes and left to split. Yeah, four remaining. <laughs> triple um, stun. It's depending on tri the, the traditional this is triple the stun combo. Yeah, the original triple stun. All right, this is going to be an interesting one for sure. Hammers, that was instant as well. You already knew that this was what they were going for there. So we'll see. Whether, I mean, Jewel, not the greatest win rate in the world. It has to be said, 28.6. I think it's basically only best Chuck NA that's managed to win with that one so far. We'll see what Tempo Storm are going to pick up here to counteract this composition coming out from Hammers. Potentially, uh, yeah, probably Kestrel, Kestrel or Sky, I would say. Kestrel into a Cath is, can be tough. However, Kestrel can position really well, but late game Celeste can do really well against a Kestrel because the range is pretty much equal, although CP Kestrel slightly outranges um, the whole team right now. CP Kestrel right. and hide on CP Kestrel. Correct. So I want to bring up this composition that's coming out from Tempo here, or from Hammers, sorry, here. Um, obviously, you guys both immediately went, oh, this is the classic stun composition. For anyone who's newer to the Vainglory 8, can you talk me through this composition a little bit, Bacon? So it's really just, you have the Merciless Pursuit, mm -hmm. which is an on-demand stun that's guaranteed to hit as long as it doesn't get blocked. And you can then chain it immediately with a Rocket Leap and a Core Collapse coming down on top of your opponent's head. And if you... If that first stun connects, you are guaranteed to have the other two hit. Mm -hmm. Whether they get blocked or not, they're still going to connect at least. And okay. you can just lock one target down and blow them up completely. So that focus CC. So what are the, the talking about win conditions and things, who do you feel has an advantage coming into this one, Sweet? Uh, I think early game for sure, because the one will have Reflex, Baron will be level 8 to block mm -hmm. the CC. So Hammers have a really strong early game advantage because of that triple stun combo they can do. And then late game, Echo Batiste versus Echo Catherine is really going to be who's able to get the ultimates off and win. All right, so a lot about chaining this CC, making sure that that can actually land, and about make, pulling off that combo, which has been kind of a focus for a few teams as of recently, but it's time to jump into this game. Hashtag Vainglory8 on Twitter. Let us know who you want to take this one, but it's time to jump onto the Halcyon Fold for the Hollywood Hammers going up against Tempo Store. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second semifinals of the day. We have starting all over against Tempo Storm here. <laughs> Denominating? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Hammers up against Tempo Storm, but starting all over is going to have to have a great performance on this Jewel. Jewel, one of the heroes that we really hadn't seen picked in Split 2 thus far, so we'll see what he can do with it here today. Early on, these guys already uh, trading some blows, but it's going to be Tempo Storm kind of predicting the movement out of hammers and forcing them off of it. Yeah, and one nice thing there is with the Reaper Oak perk here on Lost Boy Toph, he did take a couple hits from starting all over, but was able to heal it up pretty uh, pretty much uncontested. So, um, you know, we talked a little bit here from the analysts on the stun chain potential from hammers, but man, this composition that Tempo has set up is pretty interesting, Humanist. It's very interesting, and uh, during the draft, you know, you were you mentioned something that I thought was really interesting, and it's like the fearsome shade kind of uh, counters out what Jewel wants to do in a fight. Let's see if we can get to that here in a second. Is Archaic chasing Hyde through the jungle? Hyde taking a bunch of damage, but Lost Boy moves down to help out his Kestrel. Suddenly, Archaic's on the wrong side of the damage stick, getting beat down. Bad Mojo connects Hyde. Who's gonna go down? Who's the first blood? Prophesize it. Denominate be the prophet. Hyde will go down, and then Lost Boy finds Archaic. Oh, you should have talked over me. I, it's not like I was talking too loud to nominate. <laughs> you should have, you should have had me predicted a little bit sooner. I would have been I wrong, should've. but I should have predicted it a little sooner. They're not gonna let. Okay, now, now we can talk. Oh, Come on, guys. <laughs> Let Denomine cast. Would you Gatsby over the wall? Jump Jets. Couple of attacks. I think that goes to Gatsby. Yes, it does. Playboy Afro should die here. Die, Playboy Afro. Die. Five seconds. He'll be uh, uh, respawning here, but. The idea, talk to us about it. Fearsome Shade, why, why is that pretty good in a jewel? The Fearsome Shade with this composition that Temple Storm has put together is particularly good in a jewel. If Jewel gets feared back, she's going to be facing away from the enemy, and the Glimmer Shots coming out of Hyde, as well as the Jump Jets coming out of Gatsby on this Baron, will hit her almost full on damage because the heavy plating does not affect Jewel from her back. So if Lost Boy Toph can play this Batiste well, and if if he's able to get a fearsome shade through that's not blocked by Afro, they can find a lot of damage on starting here in these fights. 
Well, let's see if they can do so. Archaic and Playboy Afro moving forward right now. It, it felt like Hyde and Lost Boy had advantage about 10 seconds ago, but it's been flipped around as they're low energy. Gatsby moves down like a superhero from the lane with jump jets, but the damage is stacking up. Lost Boy is dropping low, and Lost Boy will fall. Can Gatsby move in here with a double kill? Jump Jets take Archaic down. He finds the stun, though, delaying the kill onto Playboy Afro. Oh, Playboy Afro almost takes Hyde down. Dude, Hyde. What is... I, I'd like to think that Hyde had that all calculated out there, but part of me thinks that Hyde was just living on the edge. Starting all over, over the wall with the Rocket Leap. Boots forward, finds Hyde, slaps him with the Thunder Strike, takes the kill. Three to four in the kills here, ordained out of Lost Boy. These guys are just spawning and running into the jungle to kill each other, Denami. Gatsby will come through finding the kill on the starting three to five three and a half minutes in now we're watching some vainglory yeah this has been an exciting game this far we normally don't see eight kills in you know three four minutes so definitely some exciting gameplay coming back and forth between these teams it is tempo storm finding a bit of an advantage there uh hammer staying a little bit too long in the jungle there hmm staying too long in the jungle in the jungle. jungle no, that's that's not where we want to go with that one. <laughs> Four minutes in, the jungle is intense, Denami. I can't even tell you how intense the jungle has just become. It has intensified. And now these guys are going to have to keep that in mind as they, they try to do any invades or anything right now. Hyde moves up. He's going to steal some farm away from uh, Gatsby here. Not really stealing. He's just grabbing that farm that would have gone to waste otherwise. And uh, a fun game so far. Temple Storm putting up a good showing against Hammers early on here. I think Hammers is the favorite from a lot of people coming in uh, into the series here. But gaining points pretty important for both of these teams. Yeah, it's definitely important for both of these teams. They're uh, only a point away right now. A big fight here coming in the lane, Humanist. Yeah, Bacon probably was just losing his mind with that merciless pursuit into a rocket leap. What a combo. Solar Storm! Coming through there from Archaic. That was cute. It's a cute solar storm, but memeable. Because it's not going to really connect onto the target that he's looking for. Gatsby gets rooted up by an EU tree and found its way over to NA. He'll get the healing and he's going to hang out here. Gatsby pinned up against this turret. Rocket Leap forward. They find the stun. Lost Boy dropping low with the Thunder Strike, but they have the turret aggro. They got to drop off Playboy Afro. Dropping very low. One shot comes through. Catches starting all over on the backside. Exactly where Hyde had aimed it. And uh, that's your Jewel going down. Yeah, again, Jewel having less defense from the back. Uh, the one shot, one kill did come through and pick up a kill, but now Archaic looking to get a fight off here. Yeah, yeah these guys are just trading damage back and forth. This is like, you ever watch like a boxing match and they get up into the ring and they just start punching each other? There's no defense. They're just trying to knock each other out. This is what's going on with these teams. This is fun to watch. Rocket Leap Force starting. Wow. The Thunder Strike taking high down so low. Man, you have to respect it. The Weapon Jewel damage output is so intense. And starting all over, already having damage output at this point in the game is going to be pretty scary as time goes on. Yeah, unfortunately for starting, he wasn't level 6 there. He could have found a big red button. That's really what you want to do with a weapon jewel, is if you have to use the big red button to find a kill there at the end. Uh, unfortunately, not quite there yet. Archaic is level 6, though. That solar storm is online, and as he approaches level 8, he will get the extended range on those heliogenesis and will be a zoning machine. So how, talk to us about, I mean, how? Ooh, one shot onto starting. Gatsby there. Gatsby, yeah, uh, taking... Are putting some pretty good damage out, uh, respectable damage on the starting, forcing him to port back. But talk to us, uh, Denominate, about uh, Archaic on this list up against Hyde on this CP uh, Kestrel. I mean, how does that stack up? How does that matchup play out? Well, with the Catherine on the side of Hammers, uh, she's really going to be the one that has to block out that frontal damage that Hyde is able to offer. Archaic really wants to poke over the back line. Uh, Gatsby does jump out there, and they're just going to trade a little bit of damage. Trading a little damage back and forth. Starting having a good time here. I, you know this is just this is the, the kind of pick that, that starting loves to play. This is just a very offensive, heavy damage type of hero. And uh, it does take quite a bit of skill though. If you can be very quick about like the, the direction you're facing when you're taking damage, uh, you can reduce a lot of that incoming damage. Playboy after moving forward, Merciless Pursuit. Uh, it's not going to find uh, a target there. Archaic! Uh, gets connected with that one shot. One shot doing pretty decent damage, but not too much right now. It's not not that we're hitting like 
60% of your health. Starting? What are you doing? Uh, moving forward to starting. I don't know about that, dude. No, starting just gets wrecked. Uh, Gatsby jump jets forward. Archaic. He's going to use the reflex. Staying alive. Actually, just barely staying alive. Throws out the solar storm as he dips back into his own jungle. Lost Boy ordained onto Playboy. He'll block that off and get under the turret. Archaic able to grab his own mid, so that's pretty nice. Hyde was trying to steal it away, but Tempo Storm are going to move up, and now the turret is vulnerable. Turret is vulnerable, and, and hammers don't look to be done here. They do find Hyde, but now can Gatsby find a kill? Back, no, he does not. Starting boots is into the lane, finds a kill. kill. Dude, Tempo Storm, that was a massive throw. I can't even begin to tell you. We could probably take the average ELO player out of Twitch chat, insert them in there, and they probably wouldn't make that play. What were they thinking? It's, it was tough to say, and actually the Ace Minions there take down the turret, and Hammers look to rotate now through the jungle. Uh, Temple Storm has found some really good fights. Unfortunately, the the just a bad timing for them to get Ace there with so many minions in the lane. Uh, about a th uh, two and a half thousand gold lead now going on over to Hammers. I think really now that Toph is level six, this is the best opportunity for Tempo here. Again, if the Pearson Shade fears Jewel back, that's really the best chance that Temple Storm has to get a, a lot of damage down. And with the reduced defense on Jewel's back, Baron might be able to jump Jets in and just get a single burst of damage down and kill Jewel. It's dangerous, though. I mean, all of this focus on the jewel, and that's really going to leave Celeste kind of to do whatever she wants through these fights. And now, level 9, Archaic, he, he's kind of in a position that he wants to be in. And you talked about before, once he hits level 8 and he gets that range on the Helios, uh, that's kind of where he starts to come online. Yes, he does. One shot does miss, but a Glimmer shot does find Archaic, chunks him down about a quarter of his health. Uh, no healing treant available there to him. Looking to find some damage on Hyde though, and it looks like uh, we might have a fight here. I like Just turtles. Just looking to clean Lost up Throwing the bad mojo, not really uh, connecting there. It's uh, Playboy after an archaic forced out. They're trying to take away the mid, and uh, this is kind of a, kind of a stalemate here. Situation. Ten minutes in, seven to seven. Hammers continue to look to apply aggression. Tempo Storm dodging that aggression out. Oh, starting all over can now crit. He's critting onto these Thunder Strikes. And that's where huge damage. Oh, starting. A couple glimmers coming out, and he just gets roasted down so incredibly low. Hammers have to have, just hit the reset button. Yeah, again, this uh, Tempo keeps finding really good damage, and with the Baron particularly, they have a lot of potential to really start swinging these fights as the game goes on. Gatsby now has the Tension Bow completed to go with his Sorrow Blade. This is where Baron really starts to be a threat in the fights. He's not uh, at that, I'm going to just delete you from full health level yet, but he's definitely working his way there. And it looks like starting maybe working into a very crit heavy build himself on this jewel. Meow, at what point will we see Gatsby on this Baron actually reading that, reaching that point where he's going to be deleting a target? Yeah, definitely uh, a lot of opportunity for both of these teams. Afro going in though. Oh, Blaster is going to come through, connects onto three. What a Blaster, a Playboy Afro. Who is this man? How you connect your blast trimmer so incredibly well. That is three stacks on his passive iron cannon. Connects on Archaic on the backside. Archaic, he's low to get the turret moving forward. Playboy Afro, he's going to go down. Didn't use Crucible, but did use the fountain. Leaving starting all over. Starting moves in with the Rock Leap Thunder Strike. Solar Storm comes through. Starting all over. What a player. Getting the kills that he needs. And Archaic's like, yo, maybe I should have hung around. Starting all over is just a monster. It is starting all over against Tempo Storm. And starting all over is doing pretty well. Archaic, you need to hit some Helios, dude. If you had backed out, ooh, one shot off the work from Hyde. Trying to predict it. Hyde playing games. Core collapse. Missing. Supernova goes. Here we go. Supernova 401, 261 damage. Another one. Hyde. Run faster, Hyde. Run away. You can't do it. He moves to the left. He zigs. He zags. He turns around with the glimmer shots. Gatsby's there. Gatsby takes him down. But our kick finds the kill. Now we're having some fun. 20 kills in just 12 minutes, Humanist. This game has been so incredible. Both teams finding fights. However, I think Hammers played that last fight a little bit sloppy. I think if Archaic stuck in there with starting, they might have been able to clean up that uh, that fight with only losing out on Afro. So maybe a little bit of misplay from Hammers there. Oh, I hard to say there's any misplays happening with so many kills on the board. I tell you, Denominate, Shatterglass, Shatterglass. What happened?
Hi, he's got the damage <laughs> output right now, and he's putting it to work. Yeah, and this is really where the Kestrel particularly starts to come online with this double shatter glass. There is no shield built on either Archaic or starting, so this is a huge opportunity now for Hyde to really take this advantage. And and if he can find the Glimmer Shots onto Archaic, it should only take a couple to really force him out of a fight, or at least uh, force him to run back. So that's really what Hyde needs to do here. Poke somebody out low and let Gatsby come in to finish off the kill. We'll see if they can do that. Gatsby, he showed up just in the nick of time. Uh, well, maybe just a touch too late in the, in the last fight, but he was, he obviously got there as quickly as he could. Meow, as these fights move forward and uh, and Hammers look to continue this aggression, is that what they're looking to do? Do they pull off the gas here, or do they just have to continue to move the Tempo Storm? Crystal Century gets blown up here. And uh, Fearsome Shade comes out, starting all over, actually getting wrecked. That was a big damage coming from Hyde and Gatsby moving forward as well. So Hammers get the Crystal Sentry. Meow, Tempo Storm chasing, one Glimmer Shot moving. The Ordained, blocked off, Archaic able to get back. I thought he was going to get stunned up there, but Gatsby comes through with the damage, jump jetting forward. And uh, Tempo Storm, a very nice turnaround. Yeah, again, the... Double Shadow Glass, particularly for Hyde, is really where he starts to come online the most, and we've seen it in that last fight. 400 damage coming out onto starting, takes him down, and starting as this four item offensive jewel, and it's so dangerous, just because, again, jewel has such low defense from the back. If Tempo finds damage and forces you back, it's basically going to be a free kill going on over to Tempo, and Hyde with a sneaky one shot comes through and finds the turret. Dude, Hyde was so deep in there. I wish he would have hung around and looked for a kill on Archaic because he made his way out uh, from base there. Honestly, like if he gets if he activates one of these uh, traps onto Archaic and Glimmer Shots, he would just melt him down. But it's okay. It's okay that he didn't do it. But uh, we're looking we're looking for these exciting plays right now. 11 to 12, almost 15 minutes in. Hammers. Look at the efficiency out of these hammers here. When you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. They take down the gold miner right before Kraken awakens, and now they have control over the middle area of the map. Beautiful. Yeah, and one benefit they have here, oh, a beautiful one-shot comes out and takes starting down just a third of his health. Uh, and they really need starting in these fights. We see the huge amount of damage he does to the players, but Jewel can also take a Kraken very quickly. And actually, uh, it looks like Tempo maybe wanting to start it up for a second there and then having second thoughts. They do back off. Uh, this is going to give starting a chance to return to the lane here again. Hyde found a beautiful last glimmer shot onto that turret, uh, really reducing the gold lead, you know, approximately 1,900 gold. Um, and a one shot comes through on Afro. They have a little bit of vision here. Hammers moving forward. There's vision down all over here. Oh, the blast streamer. It's going to hit two. Stuns come through. Hyde gets blown up. Archaic's not going to connect with the Solar Storm. Fearsome Shade does, though. And this is Tempo Storm actually getting melted. Oh, oh, oh Gatsby, they stacked up, dude. <laughs> Gatsby. So there's this hero, Denami. Let's talk about this. There's this hero. His name's Baron. He's pretty good. Uh, he does very well with weapon damage. And uh, it's actually it splashes when it hits target. So when your opponents clump up, uh, it's the worst thing they could actually do. Gatsby taking advantage of of these factors here. Yeah, and most importantly in that fight, the splash damage went down onto starting and archaic, the two carries who have very little defense, particularly against Gatsby. We have an Aegis complete for archaic. But there is no armor and no Evia available to him. Gatsby with the jump jets over the wall, they lose vision. And that's a 1 2 uh, rocket launcher to the face kill onto the side of Hammers. And an Ace and Kraken go on over to Tempo Storm. And just like that, this game that was looking like Hammers' favor the whole time is now, now looking pretty darn good for Tempo Storm. They have the Baron, they have the Kraken marching down the lane. Uh, Baron is almost at that four item mark as well. Dude, so sketchy of a situation right now. Hyde demolished. The starting moves in there. Gatsby trading, though. Can he find the damage of Solar Storm? Moving through a bit wild. A triple kill for starting all over as he just lights Tempo Storm up. Honestly, as long as the Jewel is running at her targets and applying damage, she does pretty well. And I think that is a prime example right there. <laughs> I... 
think starting all over just made the highlight reel again with that 1v3. Archaic was forced entirely out of the fight by the one shot, one kill in the ion cannon. A good rocket leap in and a second hit comes out. Hyde dies. What a amazing play there. And, you know, again, they don't have any way really to push an objective now, though. The minion wave really just reaching the middle. But that gives Hammers a second chance here after Tempo found such a good fight. As this game goes on, though, Gatsby's getting closer and closer to that fourth item, and that's where Baron is really just going to be able to uh, potentially take Celeste or Jewel off the map in a matter of a second. Uh, this this is going to be a hard game to call, Humanist. It really is. I was I was just sitting here thinking like I can use. I usually have a pretty good idea. You get a good feeling of like, all right, this team's probably going to win the game. I really feel like this could go either way. Like either way, and. It, as much as it feels like sometimes some of these plays feels like they're there's one team out playing another <laughs> most of them feel like they're like kind of throwing a little bit just due to their positioning taking some crazy fights that or maybe just taking the fights where they don't have an overwhelming advantage like both of these teams are kind of just like just just trading blows dude yeah it's it's been very back and forth right 18 minutes now 15 kills on each side we still have a little bit of a gold advantage for hammers but I think if Tempo can hold out a little bit here, and particularly if Hyde can get a stun down with an active camo, particularly on to starting all over, then that's going to leave Celeste and Catherine alone. And with this Baron, they're going to be able to put a huge amount of pressure down in these fights. Baron, uh, just about having enough gold for his fourth offensive item, not enough to reinfuse and get that item though. So definitely going to be a choice here for Gatsby to make. Do you reinfuse or do you get that fourth offensive item? You know what's crazy? One minute ago I thought, I, I can't, I don't know who's going to win this game. And then I changed my mind. Hammers are going to win this game. I think starting all over is just going to move in here and just put Gatsby in his, in his uh, casket. Just in like, two, he's going to two shot this this Baron down. And look, look, look at the look at the crack and getting captured up. It's going so fast right here. This is, uh, as I said, I thought maybe Lost Boy would move in with like a god and steal it. But Hammers, they're going to grab up this crack in here. And now March 4th. Start, okay, so starting like tries to engage and then catch him and he's he doesn't apply damage immediately I can see where they can take him down But at this point like if he jumps in and applies the basic attack thunder strike or two onto a target He should take down pretty much whoever he wants uh, Yeah, with the exception of Toph, he might take one additional attack, but um Oh a good one shot one kill comes through on archaic archaic sitting down at half health no Lyra available to hammers this game That's uh that's a good edge in this fight for Hyde on this Kestrel yeah, but Archaic with the Eve, and he can just hang back. He's got that massive range, and Celeste does so well uh, pushing with Kraken, better than almost anybody else. Ordain uh, tries to come out defensively, Lost Boy getting blown up as Playboy Afro and starting all over, moving in aggressively, finding the kill. And uh, let's see how this is going to play out here. One shot. Ha had a nice angle, but starting kind of reads that, moves back. Gatsby and Hyde, you're going to have to make the plays right now. Starting getting lit up. Dude, this is sketchy. Starting is going to move in here. He wants to get as much damage as he can. Reflect and <laughs> jumps over the wall with a rocket leap. What what a player, dude. Living on the edge right there. And uh, I don't have favorites when it comes to players. I don't, I don't play that game to nominate. Not a biased caster, but I'll tell you what. If I had favorites, starting all over would be one of them. Yeah, and one thing I do want to point out about that last push from Hammers, Playboy Afro used the fountain on starting. He wasn't taking any damage at the time, and Archaic was just a hair out of range. So if that fountain would have came through and got Celeste a little higher on health, I think Hammers might have had an opportunity there to try to push another fight with Hyde being down, or I mean with Toph being down for that time. Uh, one shot, one kill. Man, Archaic low again. Hyde on this Kestrel has been all in on these one shots and it's looking really good uh, for him. If they can find one fight, they can definitely swing this game around. Archaic's actually going to take this opportunity there to recall them. Yeah, dude, Hyde's money on this Kestrel. Like, uh, this is, it is always fun to watch him play this pick, but you know what is more fun than anything right here right now? Playboy Afro. Just laying scout traps down. I don't even care. Even He's not even drawing smiley faces. I don't care. Doesn't even matter. Look at the vision down across this map. How are you actually supposed to move out? And this is one of the reasons that I was like, just feeling that, that Hammer should definitely take this game. They're, Hyde can't sneak out anywhere. Uh-oh, what's going on? Playboy after moving forward. Blast Jimmer, it's gonna hit onto Gatsby. Gatsby, you're in a bad place. He's stunned up. Archaic comes through, Solar. 
Storm, that's not enough. I guess we have Wait, to what's starting doing? still what's starting alive. Doing? That is insane. Playboy Afro and Archaic are the ones that go down, but it's starting all over into the game. Starting all over into the game. Okay. That's the play that you, he takes down the last turret, takes the Vein Crystal down while well, everybody's distracted. And uh, a beautiful play. A big red button at the end. I don't know why he didn't use more big red buttons. They're so OP when you build weapon power. What a game. That was that was quite the intense finishing list. That was intense. Honestly, starting caught me by surprise at the end uh, as well, just trying to watch that fight play out, but pretty cool stuff. Uh, maybe our analysts have a little bit better idea of exactly how that played out there at the end. Well, guys, break this one down for us and keep this uh, moving forward.